welcome to Doclexus News. Let's discuss this week's healthcare headlines that matter. After doctors, the MCI has decided to assign a unique identification number to all medical students. Under the initiative of Digital Mission Mode project, this ID will be issued to all students upon admission to a medical course. This digitization will help MCI to keep a track of exact admission status in the country and prevent malpractices. Recently, the National Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission held a government hospital liable for a case of medical negligence. Challenging this decision, the hospital claimed that it could not be made liable under the consumer law as it was providing free medical treatment. Refusing the hospital's plea, the Supreme Court has upheld the Commission's order bringing free medical service provided by government hospitals under the Consumer Protection Act. The Supreme Court has clarified that a person's living will should be allowed only if the medical board has certified that the condition is beyond cure. The court said that it would lay guidelines for drafting living wills and how these wills can be authenticated. The response comes from the court to the plea stating to legalize living will in case of irreversible medical condition. The Health Ministry has drafted a policy to regulate the sales of medicines through online pharmacies. The draft has categorized all the drugs including OTC drugs, antibiotics, narcotics and psychotropic drugs into five different schedules. The policy is set to bring stringent rules to monitor the sales of medicines, ensure safety and facilitate access to quality medicines. The US FDA has cleared a new robotically assisted surgical device for minimally invasive gynecological and colorectal procedure in adults. The device is unique as it allows the surgeon to feel the stiffness of the tissue grasped by the robotic arm eye tracking to control movement of the surgical instruments and laparoscopic type controls similar to traditional surgical equipments. The researchers from South Korea have developed a new gel to treat rheumatoid arthritis. This polymeric hydrogel detects and reacts with nitric oxide responsible for rheumatoid arthritis. After this reaction, the gel releases the drug and absorbs extra fluid in swelling joints. Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Narain Modi has declared that government is planning to establish an Ayurvedic hospital in each district of the country. During inauguration of the All India Institute of Ayurveda in Delhi, the PM said that people across the world are fascinated by the benefits of Ayurveda. In such times, it is important to evolve the atmosphere of Ayurvedic medicine. The Supreme Court has declined to amend the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act, which prohibits termination of pregnancy beyond 20 weeks. The Apex Court said that the issue comes under the legislative realm and the court does not incline to address it. However, the court has sought a reply from the government on framing the guidelines for expedient termination in exceptional cases. Feeling the need for a comprehensive system to assess hospital performance, the Niti Aayog has started ranking district hospitals. The indicators of performance include OPD per doctor, C-section rate, stockout rate of essential drugs, bed occupancy rate and others. According to sources, the rating will create an environment to nudge hospitals towards improvement. Nowadays, Indian doctors face different challenges right from medical education to practice management due to changing healthcare trends. Understanding the urgency of these topics, Docplexus cordially invites its entire community to join for a thought-provoking panel discussion to be held on 29th October. In this discussion, eminent expertise, Professor Chintamani, Dr. Unni Krishnan and Mr. Fanish Chandra will exchange their views on Indian medical education, healthcare infrastructure, and future needs. These were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by Docplexus, India's largest and fastest growing online community of doctors. Stay tuned for more every Thursday 6pm. Happy Docplexing!